Hello YouTubers, this is Kenny. I'm just going to do a brief demonstration of a couple of commonly seen items there that maybe you perhaps uh, already have. It's uh, basically MP3 players. I'm going to basically go through the differences between uh, some of the different products and the way that they're used and uh, hopefully you should be able to understand a little bit more um, after this. Uh, first of all, uh, most of these different types of MP3 players, as uh, we've basically been able to purchase over the years, have a lot of different features. They connect up to your computer in different ways. Uh, some of them also use or incorporate uh, using batteries and things. Um, this particular unit as such, uh, no cable is required, uh, plugs right into the USB port, but uh, has one disadvantage. It requires a battery. The second one that I'm going to show you here, this is uh, a Sansa. It's uh, one of the older units as well. Again, we have the same type of a situation, uh, requires a battery, and uh, also requires the use of a uh, small USB cable. So you can't just plug this one straight into your computer. You have to have a small cable, but the cable is kind of common as uh, the smaller type of USB connector is generally used in most types of cameras or other different types of uh, small peripherals that you might want to connect to your typical day-to-day uh, -day computer. Now, the big difference, uh, what most people generally uh, look at is that uh, everybody likes this thing. This is an iPod. Um, this particular model actually, it's a special edition uh, model. It was given to me as a uh, safety award uh, from a work-related uh, project in uh, northern Canada. They were specifically manufactured for the company and what have you. Um, the reason why that I'm going into uh, a couple of different uh, issues here with some of these is because I want to outline something um, basically about this type of a, an item, an iPod. An iPod is a lithium powered uh, MP3 player and uh, they're very common and they're very popular and uh, basically a lot of people have them or you know they choose to have them for whatever reason it's a, it's an Apple uh, style product. Um, unfortunately there is one thing that I am going to tell you about these. Um, over the last couple of months I've heard lots of different people having a lot of problems that, because of the fact that they had their iPods actually stolen. Uh, due to the high cost of this particular type of an item, um, unfortunately they are often items for theft. Uh, people go to the gym, they go to school, uh, what have you, they take them, they lay them down, and before you know it, uh, basically they're gone. Uh, they end up in somebody's pocket and, uh, you know, essentially that's it. You know, you're out maybe about 150 bucks. Uh, typical cost of an iPod these days is anywhere between uh, $120, maybe up to $200, depending on the particular size and model that you basically want. Now, this machine here is basically a, uh, a generic MP3 player that's styled uh, like a traditional type of an iPod uh, Nano. Um, the big difference with this is is that obviously it's not an Apple product and it does not have the high costs associated with uh, the purchase of an item of this particular type. So the next question that you're probably going to ask is, well, what's the real difference between these two items besides the cost? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, they both basically perform the same type of function. Um, in regards to how it's basically used by your computer, um, this one here requires a spe specific piece of software in order to upload, download the different types of uh, content to the device. Uh, this device is more generic in nature and uh, does not require the use of any type of specialized software or, um, for that matter, uh, anything else. It works essentially as a, uh, a, a TNIP a typical uh, flash drive in reality and uh, the computer will generally recognize it uh, as such. Uh, it doesn't require any types of special cables whereas like with an iPod you have to have a special type of a cable to hook it up 
but there also are a lot of other devices that will uh, basically pass commands on to an iPod through its connection bus. So, uh, you know, they do have a lot of different types of features and things like that. They're, they are very nice uh, types of devices, but like I said, um, are they really worth the money? Well, it depends. If you've got $150 that you want to spend uh, for an iPod and you need to have those specific features, so that, like you can use it on docks and what have you, then obviously go out and purchase one. It is a good product. However, if you're like the majority of the other uh, people that basically just want something to listen to uh, while they're on the move, uh, basically you should probably consider something such as this. Um, this is a small MP3 player. It's made by a company called uh, Hip Street. It's a, one of the usual typical um, Japanese imported uh, MP3 players. You can get them at places like Walmart. You can get them at... Uh, you know, Canadian Tower, or whatever, right? You know, but basically the cost of them is basically less than $20. So anyways, this one will do pictures and videos and everything else. And, uh, you know, if somebody does happen to steal it or something, unfortunately, um, you know, you're not going to be out 150 bucks or something like that. Uh, both these devices are fairly comparable in the way that they are powered and uh, the sound quality overall between both devices is pretty much about the same. Uh, the biggest difference uh, between the devices themselves uh, is actually very little as a lot of the um, performance of uh, items such as the digital to analog conversion chips, uh, operational amplifiers and things like that which are used in large scale integrated electronics generally do have uh, very good uh, characteristics these days including uh, very low amounts of total harmonic distortion when utilized at uh, their maximum rated volume levels. So what that means basically in English is um, you know it's, uh, it's pretty much as good as a iPod. Uh, someone's going to say no they're not because w I have one and it doesn't sound very good and all that. I will be honest in saying that uh, the type of headphones that you choose to use can often make a very big difference um, between the device itself. Um, I'll just show you something else in comparison with the uh, previous uh, battery operated style mp3 players. Um, these are called, uh, it's called a gum stick. It's basically a uh, MP3 player, they're very small, one gigabyte onboard lithium power source. Works as a generic stick, you can take it and plug it into your computer, no special software, charges up and what have you. Uh, the only disadvantage is that it uses a, a much smaller type of a headphone connector, but all the same, they're very convenient to have if you're probably traveling or if you're on the plane or something like that and uh, you know you just want to have something basically small and portable or maybe you might want to give one to a friend or anything like that but anyways um, that's basically all that I can say about the comparison um, of these devices like I said um, one is pretty much almost as good as the other depending on the application and how you're using it. If you're just using it, you know, for something to listen to, uh, you know, out around the gym or something like that, or even in your car, I'm going to be honest with you, leave your iPod at home because uh, they are often targets for theft. So leave these things at home if you value your money and you value what you buy. Um, like I said, a small cheap MP3 player will do just as good a job if you're on the bus, uh, you know, you're doing whatever, and that's pretty much it, that's all I can say. This, there are some slight differences, but basically the end aspect is mostly just listening to music. So, uh, you know, for $20, uh, you can't go wrong with something like this. It'll uh, give you a little bit more peace of mind. Uh, which one basically runs longer? Uh, they both basically run about the same. Um, and like I said, if you do buy a cheap one, just get a, a half decent pair of headphones. And uh, you can try it for yourself. Uh, all the devices pretty much, uh, they sound the same. The big difference is uh, the headphones and the type of uh, music that you choose to play on it. So anyways, there you go. There's a little tidbit about MP3 players. 
Bye-bye from Kenny, Newfoundland, Canada.